we've all been waiting for. Mattel's Indominus Rex. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Unchul Show. But today, we're going to be reviewing another dinosaur toy. And this time, we're going to be reviewing Mattel's Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. Out of all the dinosaur toys from Mattel I've seen, this is probably the coolest looking one. Especially the coolest looking car. And it has one of the coolest features. But we'll go into that. The box looks cool, standard, but magnificent. It has all the key features at the back, the board, the slab, and the back. And it shows a scenario where Owen and Boo are facing off the competition. And Scat. And that's as you can see here, you tap the back with the buttons three times to make it light up. This one controls the mouth, and it lights it. And this button over here, it controls the arms, and you can move the arms with the left like a grab. And you can also adjust the elbow joint, which is cool. Just inward, out, no up and down. This one is linked to it because it comes in the box and it's so like a mixture of the but I need to be some of it And that's a really cool feature. The legs are oh, very different. Yeah, they're not as severe as the other dinosaurs. And this, what's really cool about the, war, the mouth is it. Yeah, it's like a classic in Donuts. It has these teeth. Inside, you can see a trigger here. If you look closely, you can tap. So here, if you press that, it makes a swallow noise. It's really special. So I don't know what I can test it with. Maybe my, my dimorphic one. And it says you can grab it too. Yeah, that's cool. And you can move the tail upwards. Also do like a boxing push. 
Come back. Okay, let's not finish. Um, let's see if the rabbit. I actually thought for when I got my box that this was the Viking Cool. But this is back. Let's do the back. The claws of the baby. Oh, it actually grabs small things. Yeet it. I just realized we actually do need the box because I forgot to take the Dino Rivals card box. Wow, the beautiful card. Beautiful drawing. It stats. 10 strength, 8 speed, because it's a giant dinosaur, it can't be too fast. 10 intelligence, and 10 attack. So it's almost a perfect dinosaur. I'm going to do a size comparison on this, and a few other carnivores, and a few other dinosaurs. The Albertosaurus is tiny compared to this Indominus Rex. Is, it's a huge comparison. It's massive compared to the Albertosaurus. The Albertosaurus is probably a quarter, two, a half the size. I can't, I don't know which faction to use to see how the Indominus is compared to the Albertosaurus. The Alberta Swords was pretty big with the sword, and now looking at the Indominus, looks like looks tiny, like absolutely tiny. Still has a feature, but it's still looks which is cool. Okay. Now the second, which is bigger than the Alberta Swords, the Carnotaurus. I think that's it. Hands are tiny as always, and not as small as a great source, but it's probably half the size. Yeah. About, yeah, about half the size. And it's all the carnivores stand the same way. in front of the Indominus. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is our second last comparison. In size, oh, it's almost the same. It's probably the same, almost the same name. The tail is a bit longer on the Indominus. And in height, I don't think the T-Rex is It's about the same as the Carnotaurus. What's better about the Indominus Rex compared to the, compared to the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex is it, it, it's a balance. Can, can you stop? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, if the T-Rex doesn't stand as well as the Indominus does, so you have to swivel its feet for it to stand, which is a shame. This is probably its, well, the most well balanced position. But the neutral position of the Indominus Rex can perfectly stand. I don't know how it will do in the course of time, or the course of time, but it stands really well right now. I don't even have to swivel the feet for it to stand. It's in neutral position. You can stand in the world position. I'm not sure if it's, it's, it's a different thing. You know. I think it's just a, yeah, probably just a It was, it was, I think it's random. And there's even more of this one. 
arms up the body. This this chain of this lock is really it's really tight. So you can play with these two together. I actually like the it's it's like it's I like how it's in moving size compared to the T-Rex because the T-Rex was supposed to be small uh, is supposed to be smaller than and they make it that way in the top. And it's cool to like make them battle. And then you can... It's harder to control the, the T-Rex, but it's not as hard to control. I mean, the Indominus Rex is definitely less hard to because you need to control the tail and here is just a button. So that's cool. And last, the comparison to see how big it is to our real feel colossal mosasaurus. Not really colossal mosasaurus. Well, it should be bigger than the tail. And the tail should be longer because not even the first to this. Well, the body is the same size. Because in reality, it had a lot to do with it. So, that is what so, Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, obviously, it's bigger than the one. This was the thing that killed it. Killed the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World. I pulled it down and did it with a third of it. And we found it. It's fossil. The kingdom and the Let's see what the is Almost the same. I think the Indominus is the And to call that the Indominus is actually half so many things, I can't just. Yeah, that's cool. I like the polish on the nail, I mean, the toe, the feet claws. Um. And it's really nice, it has a good feel. Real feel in the surface, always shiny, always amazing. But not really shiny, always amazing. But it's pretty cool. It'll be there in the past. Thomas Rex. And all its appearance. Beautiful And I need more. I need not more things to say apart from that it's amazing. But of course, I need to review this card. So, this part. I would like it actually, no, I wouldn't like it in short because obviously that's not allowed in the toy industry because otherwise kids would get sick. Both kinds of hurt. I like how they have it. And the roughness of the scales, and you can really feel the scale. And the spray paint darkness is really kicking in to the feel of the evil Indominus Rex. And I like how they didn't paint the inside of the eye. I don't think that's it. They just left it. They just left the pupil the way the back of the inside of the eye was. So they only painted outside. And the tail, I think it's quite balanced compared to the body. Well, the sculpt of the face is amazing. The teeth are very accurate. Movie teeth. Well, not very accurate. They feel like the actual dog in the next teeth. Instead of like the T Rex need to go teeth. Oh! They have, they make the glock, they, they, Really close the tongue and they make it feel like smooth, like it's an actual tongue because tongues are really glossy and wet and stuff. So, 
and I like I love these and the sun and the hair. It's beautiful. But I love the knobbiness of the, the like deformations of the legs and stuff. I don't. I wouldn't say you need more anatomics, but imagine if if there was a piece that you could pull out because like, the indominus rex like ripped out its trackers. That would be too many things to add. It would be too complicated. I don't know. They, they wouldn't need to do it. Wow, this takes up a lot of So, it's, it's an amazing thing. I love how you can move the arms, the legs, everything. It's overall amazing. I can't say anything bad about it. The spray paint on the back is beautiful. It's shady. I love the how the red how there's a red light. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Yeah, the light moves in the in the neck. I don't know. Probably It kind of looks like the the neck is moving. Like it's like going up and down with the snow. Yeah. Or like but that's really cool. I love it. I love everything about this. I love how they have their stuff. I love the pieces and how they blend them. Um, oh, that's a different colored plastic. It's like a transparent kind of plastic and it's pink. And they glossed it pink, I'm pretty sure. The teeth, the teeth aren't actually in the mouth. It's, it's actually on the edge, like over here. Oh, that's disgusting. Mm. Yeah. This is a beautiful toy. I don't think it has anything bad about it. It's a little too smooth. Actually, it's not. Because you would need to show the light. We need to have a kind of light. I think it's better than it really shows like the evilness and bloodiness of the indominus rex. And that's really cool. So there's nothing bad I can say about this toy. If I had to read the numbers, I would say probably eight out of nine, uh, ten. The, the grip and the nail claws are a bit wobbly and flexy, but everything else is amazing. And you can't have a perfect toy, you can't have anything perfect in reality. So I would say this is close to perfection. Except for these modern things. And, and what I really I don't like this. Well, they have to do it because they have to piece it together. There's, there are cracks. Not really cracks, but like you can see the parts where the pieces split apart. Over here, the trench. I don't really like those parts, but I guess they can't change because they have to piece it together in order to the side of the wire. It's, it's a beautiful piece of I can't say anything, anything that sounds amazing, menacing, but like the indominus and the so, Oh, cut it off. If, if you want to shut up your indominus, right? Then just like press, press that. Wow, a beautiful feature, a beautiful toy. And nothing bad I can say about it. This is a perfect, not a perfect toy, amazing, amazing toy. I would say it's better than the Flash and Pro T Rex, especially its grip to the floor stance. Because that one, it's it's a bit loose and falls off and it gets uh, weaker all the time, especially if you play with it. So, this is amazing. To it. I think it it's not too new, but it's actually it's pretty new. 
It's not old at all. And it's it's just recently released. And before they Mattel released it, all the all the Indominus Rexes were had had been. And I really wanted Mattel to make the Indominus Rex because they make amazing dinosaurs. And here they delivered. They delivered the best Indominus Rex that could possibly be created. So that's my review of the Indominus Rex. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!